What is keto? It's a way of eating food that emphasizes low carb and high fat foods. By depleting your carbs, your body goes into the next preferred energy source, which is fats. Now, will it help me lose weight? Yes, if you remain in a caloric deficit. One of the biggest problems with keto is a lot of people think because they're eating high fat foods that they can eat as much as they want. And so they put themselves into a surplus, making you gain weight and fat. Will it help me burn more fat? Well, the first stage of keto, it's gonna help you to use your fats as fuel and energy. During rest, because of your blood sugars or carbohydrates are low, it's going to use fat as fuel for when you're walking around, sleeping, just slow daily activities. What should my macros be? Now, when it comes to doing keto, ideally you wanna have 70% fats, 20% proteins, and 5% carbs. You might be asking, but what about protein? Yes, protein is super important because ideally you want to have enough protein in your body to maintain your muscle, but to also help with muscle recovery. So you want to consume roughly 0.75 to one gram per body pound. But you have to understand protein in high dosages can actually convert to blood sugars and kick you out of keto. So try and keep your protein to a minimum. Now, how much carbs should you be eating? Well, the research is showing that it's recommended that you have a net carbohydrate intake under 50 grams per day. Now that's 50 net grams per day. Now, when I say net carbs, what we want to do is eliminate your fiber from your total carbohydrate intake because fiber doesn't digest like a normal carbs. So you would take your total grams of carbs and you would subtract your total grams of fiber. So if you had 50 grams of carbohydrates, but then 10 of them were fiber, you would go 50 minus 10, which gives you 40 grams. Now let me give you a basic example of macros that you could be using in MyFitnessPal. So if you're roughly 150 pounds, and your goal is to consume 3,000 calories, yes, that's a lot of calories for you guys, but I just based it around what I am. So my stats would be, carbohydrates is 5%, that gives me 37 grams. Now here's the, here's the key one. Protein is 20% because that gives me 150 grams of protein. And then fats are 75%, so that's 250 grams of fats. Now you might be wondering, how long does it take to get into keto? Now it usually takes, if you're in true keto, where you're under 50 grams and you've been on it consistently, it'll take you roughly two to four days, maybe longer depending on how much carb dependent you are. So the more you've been eating carbs throughout the past, the more your body relies on it, and the slower it's gonna take for you to kick into keto. But typically, two to four days. Now how do you know if you're in keto? They have these keto strips that you can buy. You would actually pee on it midstream and then you would match it up to the keto strip and see if you're actually in keto. Another sign is that you would have what's called keto breath. So you might have a metal taste in your mouth. You might have short-term fatigue. In fact, if you're just starting keto and you rely a lot on carbohydrates, you're probably gonna feel some major fatigue at least in the first two to three days. Now, one of the benefits of keto actually is that you're going to have increased focus and you're gonna have more, better mental clarity. Now, you might be asking, who isn't keto for? One of the things I looked up was, what about diabetics? Can they go into keto? In fact, this is actually recommended for diabetics because it's not gonna give you spikes in blood sugars. But who isn't it for? It's number one for those that can't follow a strict way of eating. We all know how easy it is to eat carbs, and once you eat those carbs, they're gonna kick you out of keto. So it's, unless you're really focused on this or do it for a short period of time just to try it, it's not for anybody that can't handle a strict way of eating. It also isn't for those that have trouble with bowel movements and constipation. It also isn't for those that have potential blood pressure issues. So what I've done is I put together a super simple five-day keto meal plan 
It's gonna give you a, an idea of the types of foods that you should be eating. Feel free to increase or decrease the amount of calories that are in there based around your goals. Also feel free to swap out a protein for a protein or a fat for fat. Just make sure that the macros match up. So you still wanna be tracking your food if you're gonna unfollow the meal plan. But otherwise, let's try keto, have fun, and report your findings in the group.